All right, hello, Patriots. So this lesson, I'm going to talk about classifying angles. This is only going to go over the definitions, not of a lot of examples. We will take care of those examples in class. So get ready, have your colors out, get your pencils out. Let's get ready to take down some definitions. So I'm going to tell you how to classify angles by their measure. So when we are classifying angles, we can do it four ways. You can see there are four angles on your page. This first angle is called an acute angle. An acute angle will measure always between 0 and 90 degrees. So acute angles measure between 0 and 90 degrees. So any number here between 0 and 90 works. It cannot be 0. It cannot be 90. So what we're going to say is how we actually say this is our angle, we call our, our unknown angle theta. This is a Greek letter theta. has to be bigger than 0, but it has to be smaller than 90. All right, that's how I'm going to say an acute angle. Our next type of angle is a right angle. A right angle measures exactly 90 degrees. So I'm sorry, I'm putting the names up here as I go. An angle that measures exactly 90 degrees is a right angle. To show that this is a right angle, I put a box in the corner. And that box means 90 degrees. Boom, 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 boom. Our next type of angle, you probably know this one too, is called an obtuse angle. An obtuse angle is any angle that measures between 90 and 180. So what that means for us is our angle, theta, our Greek letter theta, has to be bigger than 90. It cannot be 90 because if it's 90, it's a right angle. And it has to be smaller than 180, not allowed to be 180. And then our last angle is this straight line. Yes, this is an angle. And this angle measures exactly 180 degrees. Alrighty. So I have these notes and these definitions written in to, uh, on, on your note sheet right here. Have them, have them written in and filled out. And we'll start working on these tomorrow in class. Have a great evening, Patriots. I will see you tomorrow.